There you go. The new Cosby theme. <laughs> I like that. Uh, Eddie Griffin, the comedian yes. who we've had on the show, he yes. was he's defending Cosby in some video he did. I guess he's trying to go viral with it. Okay. Yeah, he says it's the uh, like systematic effort to bring down the black male. Okay. Let's listen to Eddie. Bill, uh, you know, Dr. Cosby, I'm going to <laughs> Dr. Cosby. And by his real moniker. Dr. Cosby is a class act. What do you think, you know, your take on what happened with Bill Cosby with the allegations and everything else like that? Look. First off, you had to remember uh, this was in the 70s. Oh. All right, and that makes a difference? That's when a lot of people... Like, the rape was okay. No, <laughs> it was that a lot of people thought they were being raped, but oh, they weren't. In, in the, in the 70s, 70s, a yeah. lot of people thought they were being yeah. raped? Yeah, I thought I got raped in the 70s. <laughs> I'm old enough to remember the 70s. The 70s is a different time, right? The 70s motherfuckers hmm. all had coke spoons around their fucking necklace. <laughs> you go to the damn disco, nigga, the line is laid out on the table. Toot, toot. All right? When you... Don't forget, he was an undercover brother, so the guy knows what he's talking about. I'm, wait, I'm listening. All right. So, in other words, in the 70s, people walked around with Coke spoons. Okay. All right. Well, out after a hit of cocaine, you get a Quaalude. By the way, what about the women he raped in the 80s, 90s, and 2000s? Oh, well, we're Allegedly. not talking about them. Oh, in the 70s, okay. All right. So, did he rape these bitches? All of them said... This. <laughs> well, that tells you where he's at. Bitches. Same thing. We went to the room. Why would you go to the room of a known made man? Hmm. Number one. Yeah. Me, me, they're, they're down to fuck anyways. You understand me? <laughs> you feeling me? <laughs> so they, they're down to fuck. Then they go back 30 years later and say, he raped me. 30 years. I don't understand that. I mean, that's like a motherfucker robbing me. And then I wait 30 years to call the police. <laughs> Eddie. Want Who to hear more? is this interviewer? The interviewer is hysterical. He's good. <laughs> there is a systematic effort to destroy every black male entertainment's, entertainer's image. They want us all to have an actress by name. Kobe raped a white woman in Colorado. Who? Kobe. 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 Oh, Kobe. <laughs> oh, Kobe. <laughs> well, what about um, Denzel Washington? Nobody's trying to frame him. Sidney Poitier. No one tried to frame him. Unscathed. Yeah. Dr. Cosby raped 37 bitches and is still counting. But 52, we believe. Right? Well, according to. His, in the 70s, he only right. got to 37. Anybody trying to ruin Eddie Griffin's career, or is he doing that as himself? <laughs> well, I mean, what's going on there? Eddie's pissed. Well, you know, this kind of... we got to get him in here. ...theorizing, and the hasty generalization that all, right. all black men, there's a systematic thing to destroy all black entertainers, is ridiculous. Do you think the Jews are behind it? I think Eddie's behind it. <laughs> Nobody leaves this business clean. Michael Jackson, fuck little white children. Michael Jordan? Michael Jordan gambled. <laughs> oh, <laughs> stop. You understand? Try to tie that You're in. not going to die clean. I think no matter what you say, if you say it sort of confidently, people kind of buy into it. Or I mean, at least you've convinced yourself. Yeah. The interviewer is DJ Vlad. So. G DJ Vlad? Yeah, from Vlad TV. Which I know you know. He is good, though. The motherfucker was so generous with his money, he bought colleges, colleges. See? I, I you know, understand. I, I know. Do you understand him? Do you understand me? <laughs> I understand you. <laughs> I, I see some interviews. And then, I don't understand Fred, but I understand I, you. Some pussy is supposed to tear that down. Pussy. I, I, I have seen some interviews with... Let's talk about this little motherfucking white boy. Who? Who's a known motherfucker. Benji? The pedophile, the director. Oh, no, no. That escaped overseas. What's oh. that motherfucker's name? Uh, Roman, Roman Polanski. Polanski. Yeah, I don't see them fucking with that motherfucker. Really? Really? He's well, overseas. He, oh, he's back. back he to the even... country. <laughs> he ran he's away. Work. Yeah, he's back at work. He's like in Sweden or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. some of that shit over there. You know. Listen, I'm the white devil. What the hell do I know? To flee the country. Yeah. 
I was at a meeting of white people the other day. We were trying to figure out how to frame Bill Cosby. <laughs> was yeah. the meeting? It was a big meeting. I mean, he got to flee the country. Right. Mm -hmm. Michael Jackson might have wanted to flee the country. Yeah. He didn't get to flee. Right. Well, anyway. Michael Jackson did leave the country. He for came a back. While. Yeah, right. Now, all right, Eddie. We got to get you in here. It's clear. It's time for another appearance. Oh, dear. My man's on a roll. What is going on? You understand? See, if we could have got one of these guys on the phone who sound more like Eddie Griffin with more <laughs> of an attitude. Would have left the right. microphone with him yeah. and not been calling people. <laughs> right.